everybody, and today we are going to use MD Solids to help us make a truss in Fusion 360 that will ultimately test on the A-frame press, uh, testing the failure. So here we go. Uh, before we can start with Fusion 360, we need a statically determinant truss. So I have one made up here. So here's my simple truss, um, following the constraints that we needed, 9 inches right here, three inches tall, and I have the support in the dead center. So this is probably one of the most basic trusses you can get. Now I can hit compute, and I can see here where my compression and tension forces are really at, and where they're experiencing the most, and probably places where it's gonna fail first. Maybe, we'll see. Um, I have my reaction forces at A and C here, and I have uh, this one member in the center here with no forces acting upon it at all. So now that I have a plan, it's to take that plan into Fusion 360 so that we can create a file that then we can laser cut the actual truss out. So let's get to it with that. Okay, so open up Fusion 360 and we are going to start uh, create a sketch. Now I typically pick this plane down here on the bottom. So I click that and now I, the way I like to do these is I start with all my joints. I get them laid out, and I start with one half the truss. What we're going to do is we're going to take one half the truss, um, sketch it, extrude it, and then basically mirror it from left side to right side or right to left, and that is how we do it. So you're only really designing half of the truss. Remember our constraints. So I'm just going to start here. 0.175 is the opening for the screws that we use for the VEX standoffs. And 0.5 is like that. So that is one joint. Now I know that at 4.5 inches over, I have another one. So I'm just going to basically constrain this into here. Let's go 0.175. And you could technically copy these from spot to spot as well and move them. But it's easy enough. Like that. So that's one. And then I'm going to dimension it from center here to center there my 4.5 inches, and moves on over. Then we are gonna go one that's three inches up top. So I can just come in. Now, if you go hit the center, and you can see that it'll bring up the guide, right? So I'm just gonna go here, 0.175 again. And there's the easier ways you can streamline this process too by either copying these circles, clicking on dimensions of one, and then adding it to others to uh, constrain it that way as well. But it's easy enough for this one. Dimension that one up three inches. So there are my joints. The next spot is doing the members. I'm gonna, uh, I would hit save at this point too. So let's go truss one. There we go. To do the members, I like to draw them in first with lines as construction lines. So I go here and then I can go center to center. Like that, up there back down okay right click or hit escape so now I have those there's two ways you could do this you can offset each line so if I go into here I'm gonna turn off construction I'm gonna to go to offset so now when I pick this notice the whole triangle appears because I basically drew that as one continuous construction line I'm gonna click on it now the members can be up to five millimeters so oh, let's hit escape here my construction didn't turn off Okay, so offset, select the lines. Now remember, I can have a five millimeter wide uh, member. It doesn't have to be, but I can. I'm just gonna make all the members the same size to do this. So I can, I'm gonna, and I'm gonna make them slightly smaller than five millimeters. I'm gonna go with four millimeters. And because we're offsetting from the center line, it's four divided by two, which is in half, which gives me two millimeters. And I can type in two millimeters. That's one side. I'm then gonna come in and offset again, but negative two millimeters. And I get that. Now I have the members drawn in. I'm gonna finish the sketch. And now I'm gonna do my extrusion. We only wanna extrude the parts that we need up to the joints. So if I start here, right, I can get all this. So there's my members. And then if I zoom in, you can see there's a couple other spots I need. And you may have to zoom in a little bit more to get this. Now, this is full circle here. I don't want that little point sticking out there. So that's one. I'm going to come into here. And that little spot. 
two. Oops. And there we have it. The extrusion amount that I like to do with this is either you can type in three millimeters or it is a 0.1 or an eighth inch for the bolted birch. It really doesn't matter because we only really need a 2D profile. I'm gonna type in three millimeters. There we go. So now I have one half of the truss. To mirror this, if you did, so I started on the origin here, but if I need to mirror around the center here, I'm going to have to create a construction plane. Easiest way to do this is here, go to construct, mid plane, and I'm going to make a plane between these two members. Because remember that this, the center of this hole, we can see it here, is basically the center of that member. It's the way I have it set up. Keep it nice and easy. Now, I'm going to go to create mirror and instead of faces I'm gonna to go to bodies I'm gonna click this select my mirror plane zoom in right like that join okay there we go there's the truss that I made in MD solids minus the pin and roller no big deal now once I am here let's hit save again make sure this is good to go some of this may take tweaking. Like, remember, this is the easiest one you could possibly do, or one of the easiest ones. If you want to go in and modify the, the width of each member, then you cannot use the offset, and you're going to have to draw in the lines. But at least you can then modify those as well. You can always modify a design by going back into sketch here and then changing your numbers how you want to do it. Okay, so let's just finish sketch. Remember, you also have the timeline, so you can go back here. Right before you do anything, but let's bring it back. Now what I need to do is get this into a format that the laser cutter is going to be able to use. In order to do that, and we go up to design, and then we go to drawing from design. So sometimes this takes a second. So I want the full assembly. We're going to create a new drawing from scratch, AS, uh, ASME standard, makes no difference, sheet size. Uh, we can technically use this 11 by 17, but I'm going to go with an A and 8.5 by 11 because all of our trusses are going to be 9 inches. Um, actually, you know what? Let's do this. Let's do the 11 by 17. Sorry about that. And you'll see why in a moment. Actually, no, nah, let's stick with it. Sorry. 8.5 by 11, hit OK. Sometimes this takes a second on Fusion to do to generate what it's going to be doing. Okay. And it's loading up. Now, remember, we need two sides of a truss, so we're basically going to duplicate the view. I'm going to, speaking of, let's delete title block. So you can just, instead of deleting them, all you need to do is hide them. And let's go here. Hide the sheet size A, so that hides all of that. So now I'm going to place my trusses on here. In order to do that, I'm going to go up to base view. Brings it up. I want the top view, and you can see it right here. I want my scale to be one-to-one. -one. That is probably the most important part. And there's my truss. Now, because this is in portrait and not landscape mode, I'm just going to click it into place and hit OK. I'm then going to come to rotate, click this, and just click a point. There we go. Like that. And once it's rotated, I'm good. I hit OK. Then I can take this, drag it, right, into the corner like that. Now I need another one of these. All right, so then I'm going to add another view in. Top view. Place it in. Remember, full size. Hit OK. Click on it. Rotate around some point. Click, drag, over into place. Now I have the two sections of the truss I need. Let's hit escape. That's pretty much it. I'm going to hit save one more time. So now I have the drawing saved. No borders, everything looks good. Then I'm going to go up to PDF output, click on that, all sheets. Line weights, we can keep just like that. Hit OK. And trust one, drawing one. I'm going to send this right to my desktop. And there you have it. 
what you're going to do then is you will email it to me or you can put it into Google Drive and share it with me. It doesn't matter in either case. And then we have it. If you want to take a look at it, if I can find it real quick on here, which I can't. Um, it would be up. Oh, there it is right here. Trust one. We could double click. Let's take a look at it. And there you have it right there where you are good to go. That is how you make the trust. So I hope that was uh, relatively straightforward. Um, if not, let me know. We'll uh, work on it. All right, everyone. Have a good day. Bye.